you know, Will having to try to establish himself as leader. What, what do you have to do to try to become one of those guys in the receiver's room? Honestly, you know, just working hard every day. Um, going out there, making plays, learning as fast as I can, be a leader to the young guys, and just keep establishing myself. What have you noticed, just from having you, you've been a more experienced guy, the, the things that some of the guys, you know, the young guys in the room were having to figure out or you're kind of having to address with them as they try to ease you know, into this, this world? Mm, really just, you know, the speed of the game. It's a lot faster than high school, you know, a lot more complex terminology. You gotta be more of a physical guy, you know. Everybody out here is probably just as good as you, if not better, so. It's not like you're the best player on the field in every game, but you know, it's just the young guys are learning. They're playing hard, and I think they're doing real well. Coach Kang mentioned Dan Key is a guy that's kind of picked up. That. What, what have you seen from him? Dan Key's really good. You know, he came here and he was um, trying to learn as fast as possible. You know, he's a taller guy, plays outside, has a great catch radius, he catches a lot of balls, and he looks good going into spring so far. Y'all you just put, put the, the pads on. Oh. You put the pads on today, you know, and now we're getting good contact. You said that. Uh, uh, at the ball when you can't play the ball, that you didn't know what it is. You see, hitting the ball about the corner. Yeah, from Yusuf Corker. But you know, this is definitely a more physical conference, probably the best conference in the country. And um, you know, it's fun. I like being out here with these guys. You know, compete. It's still early, but have you all had any of those moments where it almost feels like practice is shutting down because some dude just made an awesome play? Um, there's been a, a lot of awesome plays, and I don't know about the. About shutting down, but it has gotten very exciting <laughs> and real fast. How do you kind of balance being new here, but also being a leader, just given your experience in college football compared to the other guys in the room? I'm um, just keeping my poise at all times. You know, just you know, I pick, I learned fast, so I kind of picked up the offense quick, and you know, helping the young guys as much as possible. Is there any being a wide receiver when you hear him talking about fullbacks and tight ends? Do you ever get any like? Oh, hold up, hold up. We still got to throw the ball something down. Do, do you ever have any of those thoughts go through your mind? Sometimes, but you know, there's got to be a balance in all offenses. You know, we have a really good running back from Chris Rodriguez, and all those guys can run the ball, but you know, we do our job blocking as well and catching, so it's a good balance. When you heard that this would be kind of some of the 49ers stuff, what what was the first thing that jumped into your mind? Debo Sam. <laughs> Debo Sam. A lot of the stuff he did in San Fran was unbelievable and very impressive. And I think a good mix of LA and San Francisco is going to be good for us. Have you gotten to dress up like Debo Sammy? Have you gotten to go out there and do some of this? Not dress up like him, but I mean, I feel like we've done some of the stuff that they've done in San Francisco for Debo. I know it's kind of early yet, but uh, have you thought about continuing uh, one points? Of course. I feel like that's my, my go to outside of playing receiver. You know, that was one of the things I told them when I was coming here that I wanted to continue to catch punt. So I've been doing that um, since spring started. What are, the, what are the things you can learn from watching Deep Are you talking about routes or just his toughness or the way they used him in the run game? Um, just as he's a very versatile guy, for one. He's a very physical runner and a guy with the ball in his hands. You know, just kind of whenever I watch him, I just watch how physical and how dominant he tries to be whenever he has the ball in his hands. Have you watched much video of Will and Wandale and how they connected last year? 100%. That was all. I've, whenever I seen cut ups of you know, how this offense worked and how Will was, it was him and Wandale. And, you know, Wandale obviously was amazing. Will is a great quarterback, great arm, and can't wait to you know, catch balls for him. What did you take away from that watching you know, the way they connected and, and the kinds of things they did? Um, I mean, obviously they had a, a chemistry, but you know, Will isn't afraid to throw the ball. It's kind of what I got. Like he'll, he'll let his receivers go make plays, and I like that. Have you played with a guy like Will that can just launch it? I can't say that I have. <laughs> Not that far. It's been very <laughs> impressive. <laughs> have you had a – dang, my hands hurt. Kind of moment I yet? actually have Jay my finger once or twice here. You know, he throws the ball pretty well, but, you know, it's just – it's fun. Did he come back from Rome with the Italian accent? <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't. But he did uh, come back and tell us about it. You know, he had a blast up there. Do you have any good spring break stories? Um, not really. You know, just enjoyed St. Patrick's Day. We had the time away from here. Saw some family, some uh, girlfriend, and everything. Now that it's like, all right, okay, your pads are on. Basically, got a ten practice sprint to get to the spring game. What do you want to show fans whenever they show up to Kroger Field here in a couple of weeks? Um, just how versatile I am. You know, I think I'm a good playmaker when I get the ball in my hands, and you know, I'm a good blocker when I don't have the ball in my hands. So. 
just make plays and do what I came here to do. Everybody good? Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.